Hi again then guys and welcome to another installment of the Automotive News Roundup featuring some, as you would guess, automotive news that you might have missed and this is a pretty interesting one because a new electric car or a new concept car in a general sense is not too surprising and depending on the company that it comes from not necessarily too exciting either. But this one is pretty intriguing because it does not come from a Toyota or a Honda or a Tesla, it's a Sony. A Sony car. And this is not the first time in recent years that we've seen non automotive manufacturers have an interest in the automotive market, because even, of course, Apple did as well, amongst others. However, this car, before you get your hopes up, is not necessarily going to reach production. It's more of like a showcase of what Sony can do on an automotive scale. And although there's no saying that they're not going to get into building cars in the future, it certainly seems that for now, they are more interested in showing what they could do, maybe in a, a partnership arrangement with another manufacturer. And considering the amount of existing manufacturers who are moving toward electric vehicles, of course, Porsche, Mercedes, a number of others, some have already been making that move, such as Audi, but also with all of these new names popping up, even yesterday on the channel we discussed Neo, the Chinese manufacturer who is 100% electric. These are the companies which Sony is really showing off for. And that's a great idea to do because expanding your business is never a bad thing. With that being said though, that's not to say that this particular vehicle is not impressive in its own right. It actually has a combined 540 horsepower from two motors. It does weigh about the same as a Bentley Continental GT, which is about 2.3, 2.4 tons, but it's not slow either. Top speed is about 150 miles an hour, naught to 60 is under five seconds. That's some serious territory. It's a Sony that can keep up with like an Audi RS4 from 10 years ago. That's not bad from a company like Sony. Now, in terms of fuel range or battery range, I should say, we're not exactly sure what it's going to be, but some of the um, press release images, if you will, indicate upwards of 300 miles, which tends to be roughly the standard at this point in the market, somewhere between three and 400. So, as I said, the car is for the moment probably more of a showcase rather than a this is coming soon kind of idea. And also they have announced that the platform that they're using with a low slung battery pack, as you'd assume, or wheel drive, all that kind of expected stuff, it could be used for other vehicles as well. Not just this smaller, almost Toyota Prius kind of shaped sedan. It could be a hatch, it could be an SUV. You could basically turn it into whatever shape you want, which is another cool idea. And again, we've seen that utilized by other companies such as Tesla. Most of Tesla's cars use a similar platform and just essentially have a different body on top. And of course, even though car manufacturing is still very expensive, it can only help the process both from a financial and an experience point of view to actually utilize a shared platform system between models, because the less you have to build from scratch means you can develop things more quickly, the gestation period is shorter, the price is lower, and also if you go with a platform that's already great, such as what Tesla does, then the new car, chances are, will be very good as well. So I think this is a very interesting wrinkle in the electric car market. In a similar way to Apple, it might not have a huge amount of immediate change to the car scene, but it is cool to see companies which you wouldn't typically expect to do something like this to actually dip their toe into the water. So, of course, keep your eye out for the Sony vehicle range at some point in the future, perhaps, but for now, most of us will probably have our eye more closely on the PlayStation 5 than a Sony car. I know I certainly will. But overall, that's it for this news roundup. Of course, stick around on the channel for more. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.